Over the years, CTFM has supported the less privileged in society on the 26th of December with cash donations, food and other domestic items collected from the station's listeners and clients through the Help a Christmas Child project. The Help a Christmas Child project is a part of CTFM and CTTV's corporate social responsibilities. This year, the Help a Christmas Child train made a stop at the Reconstructive Plastic Surgery and Burn Center and the Children's Ward of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital to party and put smiles on their faces. There was much to drink, eat and take away. <laughs> Hey. All right. All right. Aside bringing warmth to the patients in the unit, the station also hopes to renovate two wards and a washroom at the center. So this was the this was the, this was the female ward. Yeah. A female Ben's ward. Many times, you know, and you can see uh, the the place is a bit kind of run down. And if you even check the washrooms, that's where you know the washrooms were terrible. So, you know, so you can see the whole place is very, you know, out of shape. So we've we've checked out the wards. Um, both wards measure eight by six meters. We checked out the washrooms and the electricals. We may need to fully um, refit the washrooms. So we fix the washrooms. We have to check on the windows as well. We need to fix the windows, um, the burglar proofing, and the mosquito netting. We'll look at them. And the washroom, the bigger washroom, where you have the mobile um, um, bath, we are going to also refix that as well. The cabinet and everything will be done. And then we'll, we'll give you some paint job, a very nice paint job. Staffs and listeners also visited patients who could not come out of their wards due to the degree of injury sustained. The director of the center, Dr. Pokowari Ampoma, explained the conditions of the patients and how much would be needed to completely treat and discharge them. She has a condition called Noma. Now this Noma is a condition which uh, is an infection that usually occurs around the face. Okay, And usually it occurs in uh, people who are have a background of serious, severe malnutrition, and then there's also an element of poor oral hygiene. And so, um, and most of these people are also people who are drinking from contaminated water sources. So we brought it down in November, and then we just had surgery. So we had to take tissues from a forearm, okay, which we, so we dissect out the tissues, and then they set out the blood vessels that feed those tissues, and then we plumb into the neck, and then they set out the little blood vessels, and connect up the blood vessels and the nerves and things. So that's so that's the tissue that's sitting, and uh, you know, and the, and the, you know, it came from the farm. So later on, we'll just do some little trimming around and things like that to to perfect it. But then the tissue is there, survived, you know. So the hole is sealed. So now she can eat. She can eat normally. Now anytime anybody gets burns and their clothes catch fire, you know, automatically you know that they are going to have full thickness burns, very very deep burns, because when your clothes catch fire, it increases your chances of getting full thickness burns by about a factor of six. And then also the mortality, possible mortality also goes up by a factor of four. So, so it's quite a serious situation. As you're saying, you know, he needs all the nutritional support, all the other, you know, things to... And so this he just had his first skin grafting. He will need to have further grafts so all the wounds are, are, are covered. Okay. Is there an estimate of how much it will cost? Yeah, so this one, this one, you're looking at something in the region of, uh, you know, about 20,000 cities. So, so this, this is a young man who was involved in a road traffic accident, got an injury to his leg, so he's had to have surgery, grafting, skin grafting, etc. Now he's, his bill is about two, a little about 2,500 cities, okay, but he's unable to settle the bill, so... Uh, he's, 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 our, he's our guest. With the kind donation by listeners and viewers, the CTFM Foundation settled the medical bills of 13 patients. An amount of 100,000 Ghana cities was donated to clear the debt, while 50,000 Ghana cities was given to the unit. I, I still can't figure it out how some of these things happen, but we have, based on how much we have collected, decided to take care of... Um, I think 30, between 13 and 15 of the cases 
which means that um, we will pay for those who have been discharged and are still hanging around, and then those who need extra money to have critical surgeries uh, conducted on them, and this is in a total of 100,000 Ghana. And then after that, uh, you could hear Stella talking about the um, the things you use, what do you call it, disposable stuff and the consumables. I mean, those things don't come cheap. So we are donating another 50,000 Ghana to the unit. And so 150. 150,000. Yes. But with this gesture, we are not even thinking that it will solve all the problem. And so the reason I'm doing this is to talk to you that are watching us that it's time for you to act. As I always say, today is the other person, is a nameless child. Tomorrow, it may be coming close to you. However, it doesn't end here. The matron of the unit, Sheila Anderson, appealed for a fund to be set up to enable the unit source from it when need arises. We really need to look at some kind of sustainable means of funding the care because this out of pocket. I know we have lost a number of patients because they have all got into, they've exhausted all their resources. We have also exhausted all that we could. So if um, governments can look into it again, and then we're also thinking if we can help, if we can get help to establish a fund so that when we have been patients, we can go into that and then support at least the initial phase. Then later they can also, when they gain their feet, they can uh, raise some f f money from somewhere to support. Director of the unit was grateful to management, staffs and listeners, stating that as a result of CTFM's intervention, other corporate bodies and individuals are now willing to assist patients of the unit. We are grateful to City for setting a good example. And in fact, even in the two weeks prior to today, we've had people coming in and this individual to say, oh, we heard about uh, this center on City, uh, and so we want to come and do our own little something before uh, City FM officially shows up. So in fact, we've also received some contributions. Otherwise, you'd have seen more patients uh, you know, on admission or who have been discharged and not paid their bills. But a number of them have been able to go home because other people following your example have showed up and have uh, contributed. And so we also look forward to the other things that uh, are, are planned. And we just want to say we thank you so much. God bless you. And, uh, and let, 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 let's see more of those. <laughs> I thank I thank City TV for all what they have done to me. I thank City TV. Namishiam, God, God bless them. I thank them all. They should have more money and come and visit us every day. Indeed, we've put smiles on the faces of these children at Kolibu and it's been a successful day. Thank you for donating to the CTFM Foundation and, uh, you know, bringing joy to their faces and helping us, you know, pay the medical bills of some of the patients at the Benz unit. My name is Anshel Izibu for City News.